Hello Taurus, welcome to my channel. This is a reading for the month of October. For this reading, I am using the coffee cup and then I'll be drawing out cards from the Mermaid Tarot deck here. And then I will be also drawing out uh, a card from the Monology Oracle deck as well. All right. Okay, lovely Taurus. Let's see what we have for you for the month of October. Taurus, 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 Taurus. Okay, for some of you, you may have been struggling to keep things together, to keep things afloat, but don't worry. There's going to be like, you know what I see is like this, this water, this wave coming in to cleanse. There is something that feels like a cleanse. It's very purifying. There's something here that uh, you've been negotiating. You know, there's, there's something that feels like um, a change in, in your circumstances that needs to happen. And um, you're shaking things up. Something here I do see, there's going to be a big shake-up. A big shake-up. Uh, you're no longer wanting to feel like you have to um, always keep it all together. Um Others need to meet you halfway, basically. There's a perfect opportunity is what, what I'm seeing here. Something that feels very clear. Like perfect moment. Perfect alignment. And that is your time to really go out there. And say what it is that you want it. It's that moment, those conditions that you want to be, you want it to be met. And surprise, surprise, you know, you are being heard and being taken seriously. It is, well, I just see what it's showing here. It's a great time for you to negotiate and to make something happen. And a lot of times, like you're gonna see that perhaps, you know, that was meant to be where you, um, you know, came to that moment where you, like you've had enough of just barely, you know, putting your head above the water just so you can have this reckoning, you know, this 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 time um, for things to work out in the way that you actually want it to. Now is the time to make that happen, to make those changes. And it is something that I do see uplifting, uplifting energy. It's going to be very uplifting. This things that I see, you've been seeing lots of signs. You've been hearing a lot of things, and there is strong potential um, for, you know what I get? I get the message reborn. Reborn, renew. Maybe you feel like you're being reborn in many ways because of the, the, the intense um, transformation that you're going through that can absolutely happen or being reborn again into something that you believe in or you know there's also a connection here that feels like it's renewed it feels fresh and very different very very different i'm not talking about going back to an ex or anything like that this is not what i'm talking about because this is general message you know it it's uh it's relative to your own situation a lot of people, you know, sometimes get a little bit angry. <laughs> There's no need. There is no need. Um, anyway, uh, if it doesn't pertain to you, it doesn't pertain to you. Anyhow, something feels very renewed and fresh and, and, and a, a completely new outlook. It could just be you. You don't. It doesn't have to be with somebody else. But whatever it is, this time it's the right time. And I do get this an emotional outpouring as well. There is, you know, there's a togetherness here that feels very unbreakable. And I do see you're free. You're free here. There's something here that you're free. Um, no longer having, having this burden here. You may give a presentation, a speech or something. It's like you're, you're like, wow, my voice is being heard like never before. I'm being, you know, admired and respected. Yes. You very much have the green thumb or like the, the Midas touch here. You're going to see that you have the potential to turn anything from, you know, like 
turn anything to gold. You have the power of this transformation here, Taurus. Okay. Also, you know that you have the choice to what it is that you want to keep in your mind. Whatever kind of negativity that's been around you, you have the choice to completely discard that. The Knight of Wands. Okay. Not all for once for many of the signs. The Lover's Card. Woohoo! Nice. The Lover's Card. Too many cards. All right. Okay. And the, oh, and the Ace of Wands. Well, well, well. <laughs> I like this. <laughs> ha! I think the Ace of Wands has come out numerous times so far. So that's always a lovely, lovely good sign. The Knight of Wands, the Lovers, the Eight of Wands. I see here that you have been very much protected by the universe. Taurus, you've been protected and something about timing, divine timing, divine intervention is coming through and it's all going to make sense. There is someone here that, by the way, I get a very specific message, someone that has been battling their own demons uh, that's going to be renewed. That, that's, that, that is maybe where that comes from, that renewed thing, renewal of, of oneself you know, breaking free from any kind of negative way of living, you know. Um, happier, happier times going forward. I see strong attraction here with whatever it is or who you're attracting, you know, and it just feels like, yes, it fits. It's, you know, when I was saying now is the time to negotiate or something like that, something fits, it's happening. There's a meeting of, of, of uh two souls or entities or you know th this the energies that are happening not necessarily love again if it is or it isn't whichever it is it, you know connects to you but there's a positive result that i see coming through and this could be just in terms of work there is something that is um th that you get given that it could be new um, contracts, but it it's something that you realize you've been asking for. And I do get strong commitment as well. Something definitely comes through where you feel like, you know, your prayers are answered in that sense. And some of you could be traveling this distance I'm seeing um, that's going to be really, really good for you. And again, I, I get this emotional fulfillment coming through the page of swords. The Six of Pentacles. Okay, that is really good. You know, that's the uh, meeting halfway here with the Six of Pentacles. That's not just you doing all the work. And I again, I see your voice, your words really do matter. And they really do have the potential to transform and change a lot of things. You are definitely blessed here, Taurus. You're starting to see things really kind of manifest in different ways. But it is what you have put out in the universe. Trying to keep, and that's what we're talking about, discard the negativity. You're going to discover something um, new. And, and whatever it is here that you are learning, it's going to really, really pay off. Things are definitely going to be a lot more balanced. I get something that... Uh, a secret or some great advice coming your way that you're like that that helps to open a door you may get information in advance before anybody else that really helps you to get to um, a certain level you know gets you ahead of the game here and I do see somebody around you that's very very generous and does give a helping hand as well there is the right kind of support here Great minds think alike. I'm seeing that. You know, you're connecting to people who very much uh, think the way you do. King of Cups. Woo! Mm, Taurus, King of Cups. Nice. And the King of Cups, I do see an offer that comes in that is serious. Like, 
someone that knows what they want. Someone that knows what they want. It's very transparent. Ready to begin something with you. Again, could be a job, could be a friend, could be whatever kind of connection there is. But it is what I, I get. I see somebody that's very transparent. There's emotional maturity as well. And ready. There's this readiness as well. You know, there's this readiness. And very, very supportive energy. Ready to, you know, it's like here, you're ready to, to begin this um, life here. Okay, let's see what the Monology Oracle card has for you. So You could be moving for some of you, by the way. Surrender to the divine. This is so perfect. I love this in the full moon. Surrender to the divine. We were talking about that divine timing, divine intervention that is coming in. You can't make this up. The surrender to the divine. That is so important. This is key. This is key that this message has come through. Surrender to the divine. Don't push or force anything. Do what you are doing, you know, in the best way that you can. But allow the energies to flow. Surrender to the divine, as it says, and you'll start to see how things fully manifest itself. The divine knows when things should unfold and happen, you know, and it's coming in. It's coming in strong. Allow it to do its work to do its thing i love it thank you so very much for being here I really hope that this was helpful please do let me know i appreciate all of you from the bottom of my heart please do take care and until next time